What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some math tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to factor a polynomial. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is you have to choose a question. So what I did was I chose this 12x squared plus 5x minus 2 as my practice problem. So before we go into solving, what do they mean by factor? Factor is pretty much saying you want to convert this polynomial into the form that looks something like this. So parentheses term times parentheses term. So that's what's called factoring. So we're trying to convert this polynomial into that factored form. So how do we do that? I use this thing called a AC method and this pretty much works like charm on every kind of uh, polynomials if you want to factor and stuff and if it if this way doesn't work out that pretty much means it's a prime okay so let's get started so before we get into AC method here we have to know that in front of what's x squared it's called a so the coefficient in front of x squared is a and coefficient in front of x is called B and the last one the constant is called C and if you have learned quadratic formula you have to know how to figure these out right so we have that A is equal to 12 and B is equal to 5 and C is equal to negative 2 right so let's use the AC method so AC method, the reason we call AC is because we multiply A and C. So let's do that. What's 12 times negative 2? Yes, that's negative 24, right? So what, what we are trying to do here is we have to find the two numbers that multiply together to get negative 12, 24. But when you combine those two, you get a plus 5 okay so there's two things we have to watch out for so let's start with number 1 so 1 times 24 one of them has to be negative but let's say I do this one negative can I get 5 if I combine these two no so this one's not it how about 2 and 12 if I put negative here I might get closer to a 5 but not if uh, not quite yet so what we have to do is we have to move on to next one. How about 3 and 8? Ooh, that seems like it's going to work. So one of them has to be negative, right? So negative 3 plus 8 becomes 5, so this works out. So I know that my AC method solution is these two. So now what we got to do here is we have to break this middle term here into two different sections. So we have 12x squared, just bring it down, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to take this 5 and break it into these two, the one we just found. So negative 3x and plus 8x and minus 2 because we're going to bring this down just like that, okay? So now we have four terms here. Our next step is to group them. So by mean is we're going to group two terms like that. Alrighty. And the third step here is we have to factor out the common numbers from each of these terms. So out of these two, notice I can pull out an x, right? Because x is in common. But also I can pull out on three because 3 goes into 12. So I'm going to factor out 3 and x at the same time. So I get 4x left over minus 1, like that. And from here, I can factor out a 2. So I'm going to factor out plus 2. And I'm left over with 4x minus 1. Nice. So how do we know if we didn't make any mistakes? We can tell by looking at these two terms. If these two terms matches up, 
that means we are good, okay? So now the last step here is we have to combine these two into one, and we have to combine these two into one. So 3x plus 2 becomes our one term, and 4x plus a uh, minus 1 becomes our second term, and that is our answer. So yeah, that's how you use AC method to solve a factoring problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm.